Okay. Okay, so I was asked a question about staying as the observer at Christmas. Uh, if there's been a lot of uh, interactions with family, the main thing I would do is to practice the observer before meeting the family. Uh, you could watch some YouTube, just seeing what's the witnesser of your thoughts, going to the witnesser of your body, the observer of your body, uh, the observer of any images. And when you're in this clear observation, uh, uh, you'll start to notice that the thoughts in the body will start to dissipate and you'll start to experience uh, a, a greater limitless witnessing field. And then when you feel this witnessing being stable, I would go and interact with the family for short periods of time. And usually if they trigger you, you start to identify with something they've said or their facial expressions or their voice tone and you get pulled out of the observer. While you're with the family, you can practice going back into the observer of any, any thoughts or any feelings that arise with the family. If you get too identified with your thoughts and your body, you can leave the family setting and go uh, to your room or a quiet place for a short while and just practice being the witness of any thoughts or feelings that arise. And when you're again firm in the observer, go back and uh, have another dose of the family. In that way, you'll be using the family as an opportunity for transcending uh, the, the habitual things that hook you in around family, things they say or the way they behave. Uh, so that's the way I would practice uh, being around family at Christmas as an opportunity for transcending anything, any feelings or thoughts that arise. Just go to the observer of that.